Jeremy from Rock and Wheels uh, here with a Kawasaki Mule Pro FX today. I'm sure a lot of you have seen my Pro FXT video that we did uh, a couple of years ago now, which is the same machine as this, but in a six seater. On the Pro FX, they're offering our same 820cc triple cylinder engine that's extremely quiet, uh, but with even more bed space. This machine is gonna tailor to any guy who wants to trail ride, uh, to any guy who needs to work, hunters, farmers, all those things, you're gonna have three seat capability in what could only be described as a pickup box like capacity in the back. Uh, these engines uh, give us a little bit more power than the traditional mules. So all the other mules except for this lineup, we're limited at 40 kilometers an hour. This one will let us do 75 kilometers an hour, which makes for a machine that you can trail ride or take hunting and, it, and it's not gonna be a nuisance. Uh, the other thing too is it's power steering nice and light on an 1800 pound machine you definitely want that they've also introduced fully independent four-wheel suspension we've got a lot of travel in there it makes for a nice and supple ride it'll absorb pretty much anything selectable two-wheel to four-wheel drive and we can unlock the rear differential as well so if we're on some nice grassy area that we don't want to tear up we can do it and it's going to do it a very good job Like the Pro FXT, the Pro FX comes standard with this half door and it opens just like a traditional door and I can get in and out very easily. And it's the same for the passenger side. Here is the big difference between the Pro FX and the Pro FXT, the ginormous box. So if you come in here and you check it out, we've got a lot of space in here. The bottom is steel, you're not gonna break that. And if you look at the sides, how it's textured, it's made so we could put one inch board in there and we could section off the box. The other thing, like you'd wanna see, we've got the tailgate on here and we can also dump this box, which is extremely practical being the size it is. And as you can see, the angle on this is very steep. So if you're gonna put sand or dirt or rocks or a lot of guys who do wood with this, uh, you're gonna have that whole side that's gonna be practical. And if you need more capacity to dump as well, we have the electric rams that we can add on to this. Now, Kawasaki, we can put a thousand pounds in this box. Um, you probably put more, but that's what they rated at. So this is the jewel of the machine, the heart, the 820cc triple cylinder engine. And as you can tell with the configuration, it's a lot more like a car engine. It runs an alternator, not a stator, and it's a lot more quiet than what we see in the traditional ATVs. So when I fire this up, we can barely hear. Let me give that a go. So we've got the engine running right now, and it's not overpowering me at all. The full exhaust system is stainless steel, so that's not gonna be something for you to worry about in the future. Kawasaki puts a lot of emphasis on their engineering, and they made sure this is bulletproof. Coming from a dealer that has sold 80 plus machines with this engine, it's top notch. A20. So the first thing you can notice when we're trail riding this thing is uh, it's quiet. It's not busting my ears off, but definitely has way more snap than the traditional mule. And the suspension's a lot more supple. We're gonna get a little jump here. It's smooth, just like a cloud. It's, and we're driving in two wheel drive. The power steering doesn't make this machine feel like the weight that I know it has. Got a little dirty there. So the dirt didn't stay under this one like the other ones. So in terms of trail riding machine, this is actually be fun. Still nimble enough. Turning radius stayed nice and uh, tight. So Kawasaki did a very nice laid on this and lots of texture, lots of shape. We've got the infinite adjustable steering like we see on a lot of their other machines. Power steering as well. Our handbrake is up high, nice and accessible. Our shifter where we have our high and our low range is accessible. And then up here we've got our switches so we can unlock, lock the uh, rear differential. Two wheel to four wheel drive. 
shift on the fly. We don't need to stop for that. We do have the rocker switch for our light and we've got extra space. So if we're gonna add anything, it's easy to do. Our gauge package, again, viewable from anybody in the machine and big letters. You're gonna be able to see that and, and know what the machine's going on. We've got extra storage here and we've got a big glove box. So they've made this machine extremely practical. If we look at the floor as well, it's fairly flat. So if you have three passengers in here, we have legroom for three passengers.